I often talk about the past because that has laid the foundation to where I am today. I am always excited about the future because it gives me a chance to feed my hunger. Sweet nigga, sweet lit, turn a shark, get finesse Got yeah, yo, Coco, get the inference from Pedro Sippin' on lean, got a nigga in slow-mo On the block, run up on the popo In a trot with the metal world, beat elbows Growing up, I was always motivated by things I didn't have So, birthday presents, Christmas gifts, school clothes, uh, haircuts So growing up on Section 8 and welfare, it, those things weren't possible for me I always, always knew I didn't want to repeat those living conditions as an adult. When I started lifting in St. Louis, there were so many guys better than me in St. Louis and especially around the country. So after a weightlifting practice, I would go home, I would run one or two miles, I would do about 500 push-ups, about 500 reps of core work and things like that because I had to I had to close this gap I, I absolutely wanted that that gold medal I, I wasn't I wasn't fine with that silver or, or bronze gold medal is, is what I needed Motherfucker subpoena If you my nigga then we'll never let my nigga between us And when we in a In the past I've taken Greyhound buses Amtrak trains And all other type of stuff To get to training camps or competitions But all those things were fun Because I was chasing a goal Even though I remember one trip I went, went to Florida And I was on a Greyhound bus for 24 hours and, and when people on the bus would find out what I was going to do Because I was like this young kid on this young kid on this trip like they would buy me food and all type of stuff wish me luck so i just felt felt so good about that 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 trip traveling felt like a professional so as i got older and went to these international meets and had to go to korea and stuff like that with these 24-hour travel times too it was nothing it, it was so easy and just a great experience I don't need no stylist fresher than all my classmates. Plus, I love my J-O-B on pain. It's Friday. Trying to get in touch with me, you gon' have to do it. In 2003, I won the American Open. In 2004, which was 10 years ago, I won the Senior National Championship. So ever since that point, people have been telling me, oh, this, this guy, he's gonna come and beat you. That guy, he's coming, watch out for him. And I always tell them the same. I'll still be here. I'll still be on the platform. I'll still be ready to go. Uh, I feel like that that young kid that that just wants more. If I got a gold medal at this one, I want two gold medals at the next one. If I got one American record at this competition, I need two or three American records at the next one. So my my appetite is always going to continue to grow. I'm always going to want more.
a video.